I don't know if you can hear the birds. But there are so many birds. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Remember when I said I was done buying books and I was on a ban? Well, I broke that. I broke that. I have 12 books today. Um, on the plus side, I only spent $5. Maybe I shouldn't film outside. You hear random girls screaming. It's completely fine. So you know what? Shut up, dog! The dog is so loud. The first two books that I have for this book haul were gifts, and those are The Island of Dr. Moro, Moro by H.G. Wells. I have been interested in this book for a bit. Uh, I read The War of the Worlds. I had The Time Machine. I might have something else by him. I'm not sure. But now I have this one. So I plan on reading all of H.G. Wells. Why? Because I feel like it. That same person also got me this really old edition of Ernest Hemingway for Whom the Bell Tolls. Really pretty. It's really old. It has deckled edges. I'm excited. I know nothing about For Whom the Bell Tolls, but um, I've been wanting to get another Hemingway. I've been looking for a Feral to Arms, but I can't find it anywhere. So, uh, But I was gifted this. Now on to the library book sale books. Um, I'm going to go through this rather quickly to try to make this a short video because it's kind of windy and I'm cold and I have to go to a birthday party in like 10 minutes so speed round. First I have When Elephants Weep The Emotional Lives of Animals by Jeffrey Mason and Susan McCarthy. I thought this sounded really interesting. The title is pretty self-explanatory and I like elephants. Look I'm wearing an elephant necklace. Next I picked up Under the Sea Wind by Rachel Carson. I have been slowly collecting all of her stuff. The back says Rachel Carson describes the dramatic struggle for life that rages along the shores and in the depths of the mysterious seas. I'm there. I'm completely there. I'm so excited for this. And then I picked up T.S. Eliot's The Wasteland and other poems. I know absolutely... <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Stop crying. I know absolutely nothing nor have I read anything by T.S. Eliot but I see his stuff everywhere and I figured this is something I should read so I'm going to read this if you would like to share anything about him in the comments below that'd be great because again I know nothing and then I got to the lighthouse by Virginia Woolf I've never read anything by Virginia Woolf but I feel as if I should so I saw this and figured why not you have to start somewhere start here so I got it uh, yeah, I don't know anything about this at all. If you would like to tell me in the comments below, that'd be great. And then I found three John Steinbeck books. Whenever I see his books at sales, I just, I buy them regardless if I've read them or not. First up, I saw The Moon Is Down, which I read last year and I really enjoyed that book. Do I really need another copy of this book? No, but I really like this edition and I wanted it and so I took it and it was a quarter. The other two that I got, I haven't read, so it's fine. America and Americans. I don't know what this is about, actually, but there's so many photographs in this book. I'm not sure if you could see, but there's a lot of photographs. My guess is it's nonfiction. It looks like nonfiction, so I'm going with that. I'm probably wrong. And the last Steinbeck I picked up was The Acts of King Arthur and His Noble Knights. I think this is just Steinbeck's take on Arthurian legends. I think that's, that's what this is. Him writing fantasy, it just seems odd, but I will give it a chance because, because, because. The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston something that I can't pronounce, a new translation by Lowell Bear. I've never read The Phantom of the Opera, but I love the movie. I figured I should just, I should read the book because, because I should, and it was a quarter, so. Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. I've never actually read the full book. I've only read the short story for school, I think, and that was it. But um, I saw this there and figured I should, I should read it. And then I have Master of the World by Jules Verne. I'm slowly just collecting all of Jules Verne. Still have not read 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and I keep saying I'm gonna read that soon, next month. You betcha that's gonna be on my May TBR. It's getting so windy, but I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Aku, 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 Aku. How do you pronounce that? I don't know. Uh, by Thor Heyerdahl. Uh, Heyerdahl. Still can't pronounce that last name. Because I am reading Con Tiki very soon, and because I saw this there at the library book sale, I figured read more by the author because he seems like a really interesting human. 
and you should read more about him. And the last book that I got at the library book sale is The Sirens of Titan by Kurt Vonnegut. I like this cover a lot. There are... there... there are naked people on this cover. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, I don't know what this is about. Whatever, I'll read it. Should be interesting. The side is blue. I don't know if you can see that. And that's it. I, I have to go. I'm gonna end it here. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are, and I will see you in another video soon. Bye. <laughs>